and I, say, I can just say, you know, sounds great. And I've got this little keyboard, which is phenomenal. It does error pre uh, prevention and correction. Uh, not that I won't make some, I probably will. But it's actually really fast to type on. It's faster than all these little plastic keyboards on all these smartphones. So I can just say, sounds great. See you there. And I can send that. And there it is. Right? It's that simple. And when Phil messages me back, I'll be alerted, I'll see the dot, and I can just go pick up that conversation where it left off. If I want to send a message to Eddie I, or Scott, I just push this and send a message and go. It's so simple. So that's SMS messaging, and uh, you know, I, again, you've seen the keyboard. It's pretty awesome. We'll come back to that a little bit later. And the third app I want to show you as part of the phone package is Photos. You know, we have a two megapixel camera built in, as I said. We also have the coolest photo management app uh, ever, certainly on a mobile device, but I think maybe ever. And uh, so here's, uh, here's our photos. I'm going to go into our photo library. And this is our library. And again, I can just scroll through photos here with my finger. Pretty cool. Let me go to uh, photo album. I'll pick uh, Italy. And I just, uh, let's start at the top. And to go through pictures, I just swipe them. I can just swipe through my photo library. Oh, there's one that's, uh, that's landscape. I can just turn my device and take a look at it. Pretty cool, huh? Boom. Right? So I can even swipe when I'm in landscape here. You know? Isn't this awesome? <laughs> the other thing I can do is uh, I can take any of these pictures and uh, I can make them bigger. And uh, so let me go ahead and get the camera back up. Yeah, there it is right there. I can, uh, I can just take my fingers and I can, we call it the pinch. I can bring them closer together or move them further apart to make it bigger or smaller. And so I can just move them further apart and stretch the image. Cool. And move it around. That's cool. And now, now what I can do is I can uh, pick to uh, make this my uh, wallpaper. And of course, I could, you know, jigger it around then and just set the wallpaper. And now, when I, uh, if I'm back at home and I go to sleep, when I wake up from here on out until I reset it, that's my wallpaper. Whenever I'm making a call, that's what I'm going to see. Boom. There we go. So photos, SMS, and the phone app. That is part of our phone package for iPhone. Get a call. Again. Really great call management features. Just scroll through contacts with your finger. All the information at your fingertips here. Favorites, last century, visual voicemail, calendar, SMS texting, incredible photo app, the ability to just take any picture and make it your wallpaper. It's pretty unbelievable. And I think. When you have a chance to get your hand on it, you'll agree, we have reinvented the phone. OK. So now let's take a look at an internet communications device. It's part of iPhone. So what's this all about? Well, we've got some real breakthroughs here. Start off with, we've got rich HTML email on iPhone. The first time, really rich email on a mobile device. And it works with any IMAP or POP email service. You got your favorite mail service, it'll likely work with it. And it's rich text email. We wanted the best web browser in the world on our phone, not a baby web browser or a WAP browser, a real web browser. And we picked the best one in the world, Safari. And we have Safari running on iPhone. It is the first fully usable HTML browser on a phone. Third, we have Google Maps. Maps, satellite images, directions, and traffic. 
This is unbelievable. Wait till you see it. We have widgets, starting off with weather and stocks. And this communicates with the internet over edge and Wi-Fi. An iPhone automatically detects Wi-Fi and switches seamlessly to it. You don't have to manage the network. It just does the right thing. Now, I want to take a second and talk about email. We hook up to almost any IMAP or POP3 mail service. I just want to give you some examples. IMAP, of course, is the best because you can keep your folders and all your email on the server and access it from anywhere. Uh, Yahoo, e Yahoo Mail is IMAP. Microsoft Exchange has an IMAP option. And obviously, .Mac Mail is IMAP as well. POP3, Google Gmail, AOL Mail, and most ISPs are POP3 email. Now, I want to take a minute and highlight one, Yahoo Mail. Yahoo Mail is the biggest mail service in the world. They have over a quarter billion users. Biggest email service in the world. And today, we are announcing with Yahoo that they are going to provide free push IMAP email to all iPhone customers. <laughs> so this isn't just IMAP email. It is push IMAP email, so when you get a message, it'll push it right out to the phone for you. Same as a BlackBerry. Free IMAP push email from Yahoo. So we think this is a pretty big deal. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to show you Mail, Safari, Google Maps, and widgets running on iPhone. So let's go see. So let's go into Mail. Second icon from the left on the bottom there. I just touch it with my finger, and boom, I'm there. And so I've got an inbox here. And this is, by the way, running live on Yahoo IMAP email. This stuff is coming off a of Yahoo server somewhere up in the cloud. And uh, so I can say, James Vincent here sent me an email. Yeah, he's a proud father. And there we go. And I can just scroll it here. I've got inline photos, rich text email. There we go. Let's look at another one. Phil Schiller. She loved the gift. Again, inline photos, rich text. Pretty nice. Shopping list. Again, rich text right here. Pretty cool. Directions to Sushi Ron for tonight's dinner. Now, iPhone, of course, parses out phone numbers. And as you can see, there's a phone number in blue. I can just touch it, and boom, I'm going to call this place. Right? I don't really want to call them, so I'm going to end the call here. <laughs> but you get the idea. And uh, this last one, uh, Ken Bereskin is uh, one of our marketing folks. He just returned from Antarctica. Ken's a great photographer, and he took all these great photos of, uh, of penguins in Antarctica. It's really cool. Look at this. Isn't this great? Right in your email, right on your phone. And if I want to, by the way, I can uh, look at my email with a split view, just like I do on my computer. And so I can select something here and just look at it down here if I want to peruse my messages real fast and just find that one message I was looking for. But I actually like the full screen view. And of course, we have a standard inbox and drafts and sent and, you know, and all sorts of folders you can put things in as well. So it's real email, just like you're used to uh, on your computer right here on your phone. It's extraordinary. And again, free IMAP email from Yahoo. Now, let me go ahead and just uh, create an email message, show you what that's like. So again, when I don't need the keyboard, it's not there. When I do, it's there. I want to send a message to, uh, let's say, Phil. I just type PH, and boom, Phil Schiller. It's address completion. And maybe I'll send one to Scott Forrestal as well. And there's Scott right there. And uh, let's say the subject is uh, dinner. Dinner and, uh, uh, you know, oops. See you tonight. Boom. And I just send send, sends that email, and we're done. So that is mail, full desktop class email running on a mobile device. All right, now I want to show you something incredible. <laughs> I want to show you Safari running on a mobile device. So let's go to the web. 